Sidney Harry Fox and his mother Rosaline booked into the Metropole Hotel in Margate, South East England. On 23 October 1929 at 11.30 p.m. Sidney Fox raced a cry of, fire, and Mrs. Fox was found dead in a smoke-filled room where an armchair lay smoldering. Two doctors showed up who were summoned both doctors agreed that she had died of shock a verdict that was confirmed at the coroner's inquest the following day. Sidney however had renewed his mother's life insurance for a single day on October 22. The insurance company became suspicious and informed the police. Mrs. Fox was buried and then her body was exhumed so the pathologist could examine the body further. He found nothing to account for the heart failure due to shock although he did detect signs of asphyxia due to inhalation of the smoke. He did also find a small bruise in the soft tissue between the larynx and esophagus the size of a half crown. The coroner deduced that Sidney had strangled his mother while she was asleep before starting the fire. The defense called two expert witnesses one being the pathologist and the other was Dr. Robert Bronte. Both men had viewed Mrs. Fox's larynx and found putrefactive discoloration but they agreed that there was no sign of a bruise. The pathologist assured them that he had seen it at the time of the exhumation. Sidney Harry Fox was arrested and questioned he would claim he was innocent to the end and was found guilty for the murder of his own mother and was sentenced to death. Sidney Harry Fox was hanged on 8 April 1930.